Hello everyone, it is Sunday, April 5th, 2020. Welcome to Grow to Save channel. Here to talk a little bit more about their survival garden. I'm trying to encourage everyone to create because uh, things really are getting hairy with our food situation. If you have not seen the news, it is really starting to hit the, the major world headlines now that a food shortage is in the works uh, on kind of a worldwide scale. And that includes here in the States. So just really, once again, I'm highly, highly, highly encouraging everyone to grow as much produce as they possibly can for themselves and their families and potentially even their neighbors as well. Um, I wanted to uh, just address a few things. I was out here really busy yesterday. I want to show a little bit of update of what I got going. Um, these are really, these are just guards here, what I put down. This is not really like a, like a boxed in raised bed or anything. Um, but there was a couple things that I wanted to talk about is getting your survival garden set up. Companion planting is one for sure. Some things that I'm going to mention in here, I don't have videos made myself about, so I'll put some links to other channels down in the description so that you can go check out those. Some Just some really good ideas that I think that are going to be, uh, some of the things I'm gonna be doing is, one of the things is the three sisters method actually is what I plan to do with corn, squash, and beans. So. Uh, I hope that you will check out some of the other links. I am not trying to say that I'm, you know, like a professional gardener, that I'm an expert whatsoever. I am not. I'm just, you know, an enthusiastic amateur. So uh, I hope that you will check out some other people who are doing better than I am. Um, I am just doing this to get the word out that really, guys, we need to take this very seriously. One of the other things I wanted to mention is a couple other things. Companion planting was one. High density planting is another. Uh, it's kind of different from companion planting. Companion planting is more where the the plants kind of help feed themselves and are, you know, they're companions with each other. Whereas high density planting is more where you're just planting as much as you can in the, in the least amount of space that you possibly can and trying to get the most out of those yields, maximize those yields from small spaces. So you can you can very much do that. There's a lot of great info online on how to do that. Uh, you could even do like microgreens if that's something. If you don't really have a place to grow, you could even grow in your garage. You could grow microgreens with some lights and whatnot, and you can harvest those fairly quickly in just a, just a matter of days. Uh, so one of the other things I wanted to mention, uh, one thing was soil amendments. So like yesterday when I was out here, if you can see all this like sandy area that is sand it's a bag of sand that i mixed we have some pretty highly dense clay soil here uh in michigan so i i did that basically to kind of loosen up that soil a little bit most of the rest of what i have from last year i actually bought from a nursery a whole truckload of soil from a nursery which is what was here which i tilled up yesterday so don't be afraid to amend your soil to get it what you need where you need it to be um, checking your pH is also important, um, but I wouldn't say that trying to be like super staunch about all this stuff is as important as just getting things in the ground and getting them in there as fast as you can. So soil amendments was one thing, microgreens or companion planting, high density planting was the other. Buy seeds, buy seeds like now if you can. If you can get them, I know that some states have made that illegal because it's not considered you know an essential thing, but... Um, I went to go buy seeds today because I'm not going to be able to, I'm, I'm anticipating not being able to get stuff from my nursery. So normally I would not start seeds this late and normally I buy certain plants from the nursery anyway. But now I'm basically, I just went out today to go pick up as much as I can and I'm starting a bunch of new seeds today so that hopefully I can make up for what I might not be able to get at the nursery later. And um, so buying seeds now can save you money in the long run. I mean, obviously, it's no—it's like a no-brainer to be to know that you can plant a plant from a seed that you pay like a couple bucks for <laughs> that you can continue to harvest all throughout the summer and throughout the year, and and you know even uh, you know put up, can or whatever, and still continue to eat from. Whereas you could just go to the grocery store and continue to buy cucumbers, tomatoes, whatever every time you go to the grocery store, and it costs you money. So that's part of the, the reason I want to encourage you to, to, to buy seeds. The other thing is, you know, what happens if they become un, unavailable in the future just because of what's been going on? And that's a very real possibility. So go out, get what you can, leave some for others too. Don't, don't hoard seeds, obviously, but, um, you know, take what you think that you will eat. Uh, you, you can also consider growing, even uh, interplanting edible flowers in your garden uh, in order to encourage pollinators if that's something you really want to do 
anyways, I just wanted to remind you guys to take this seriously because this this is not going to go away anytime soon. Deaths are, are a real thing in these hospitals. My neighbor is a nurse. She was just telling me just to, about 20, 30 minutes ago what she was experiencing at the hospital today. I mean, there's people dying left and right here, guys. This is a very real situation. And besides the food problem, the the sickness really is a thing. So stay safe. You know, keep yourselves, keep quarantined, and do what you can to grow your own food, which will also help you stay away from the grocery store, if we're being honest. Hey guys, one last thing I wanted to mention as I'm out here just getting ready to transplant a few things that I've started from seed earlier. I gotta get these out of the way so I can start the other seeds. If you would please share this video uh, with your friends, family, loved ones, wherever. I'm gonna post it on Facebook as well as YouTube and uh, both independently not i'm not just sharing a link on facebook i'm gonna actually post it to facebook video but um the message really is what is important here i'm not trying to make money off of this channel this is not my main gig real estate is my main gig but i actually am spending money to boost these posts to get the message out there because you know really this is important so i don't have a patreon set up or anything if any of you guys wanted to support me um i'm considering doing that just because Obviously, I'm not earning money right now either, but I am spending it to try to get this message out. So if you would really, really like to help me out and just help share this news, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, whatever you can to, to get this message out there. I would really, really appreciate it. God bless you guys. Love you all. Have a great day.